hello guys welcome to another youtube tutorial today i'm going to show you very quickly how you can create a test mask effect all right what we are going to achieve with this is something similar to this i'm sure you must have seen this uh, designs like this before so we're going to be achieving this so to do this the first thing you want to do is create a document and um, you can name it text mask effect right so once you do that it doesn't matter whatever size you create is okay the first thing you want to do is bring in your picture. So for me, I think I have a picture I've already extracted, which is this one. Um, it doesn't have a background, but you could also use the one with the background. It doesn't really matter. But I just want to use something that doesn't have a background. So I was able to extract the background. You could use um, remove.bg, a background um, remover tool, or you could bring it into Corel Draw. You could watch previous tutorials I've done, and you can see how you can extract an image from the background using Corel Draw. So once you've done that, um, you have this picture that has no background. The first thing, uh, the next thing you want to do is add your text. So you just select your text tool and you click somewhere and you write something like, You are what you eat. Let's go for you are what you eat. And uh, let's add um, stay aware, something like that. You know. I just want the text to be long enough to go from the beginning of the face, from the top of the face or the top of the head to the bottom of the head, right? And we are going to use something really solid. So for that, I'm going to recommend font like American Captain. So you highlight your font and type American Captain and then press enter. And so if you have American Captain, this should be how American Captain looks like. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to have this message somewhere across here, or I want to flip this image so I can have the message on this other side, on the left hand side. So the first thing to do is to flip the image, you go to your properties bar and then you mirror horizontally like that. Once you've done that, you select your text and you go to your properties bar as well and you switch the orientation, the alignment from whatever it is to right alignment. So it's going to line up straight on the right hand side. And use your, then use your shape tool to grab your controllers and pull them close so that they almost touch each other. Something like this is really cool. And you drag it all the way you drag it all the way to the face of the image where you'd want to have it make sure to line up the image uh, the text to be um, just a, approximately the size of the face from the top to the bottom and if you notice you'd see that around the edge of the uh, face we have the stay aware it's actually popping out of the design i wouldn't want that to happen and so i'm going to break the whole text apart i'm going to select the text and i'll just shift it a bit and probably rotate this image a little. I'll select this text and push it a bit inside. And I'm going to break this text apart. I'll do Ctrl K and then I'll just highlight all these ones at the top. It doesn't really matter and join them together pressing Ctrl L. So you could break them, you could you could just do your enter again. And then those ones are arranged. So stay aware. I'm going to reduce their size. I'm going to grab this one and reduce it a bit so it fits. And the aware, I'm going to reduce it a bit so it fits. And then I'm going to take it up somewhere here, reduce it some more, and select all of them. Hold Shift and select them all and press R to align them to the right hand side. So once you've done this, I think you're good to go. We could also work on the what here and um, make it a little bit smaller so we could break this apart and just reduce the what a bit and then we can pull the rest of the text inside now you can highlight all of them and um, you could group them you could do ctrl g to group them and hold them together and i want to stretch it a bit just to make it wider it's not so important but you can do this too if you like you just stretch it just a little bit I think we have something really good we can work with right now. Yeah. So the next thing you want to do is I want to bring introduce a box. So select my box and draw a box right around here. Just leaving a little bit of space between the text and the um, 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 the box. Just a little bit of space. You could you could narrow it down a bit like that. So with this space, I'm just gonna pull it right across the neck or just here. Let's stop it here. And I'm going to hold shift, select the image, and go to my properties bar, 
with both of them selected, I'll go to the properties bar and I'll, I'll click on intersect and it's going to create an object from where both of them overlap. Now, you have to select the object, the box first, and then use it to intersect the shape. So you're going to get a part of the shape, right? So I'm going, I'm going to flip this box. So I'll hold my control and hold this controller here, this handle, hold my control and drag. It's going to flip it to the opposite direction. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing. Hold shift, select the image again, and come to the uh, properties bar and do intersect. And after doing that, select the main image and delete. You, see, you find out that we have um, two images already, already created the parts we intersected. And the next thing we want to do is we want to select this particular image. So we'll select it and right click on it and say power clip inside. And then we we'll click on the text. And it goes into the text and it stays inside within the text. And with that you have, you are what you eat. Now this might not look so nice because it's on a white background, but if you double click here and maybe add a black background or something it pops right it makes more sense depends on the color any color that blends in with your background with your image is going to make more sense or much sense now this is just a rough sketch of how or a rough way of how you can achieve this effect you can see that the image is placed inside the text and then the rest part of the image we've cropped it out using the box right so with this we're able to achieve that text effect seamlessly if you find this video helpful, you can drop a like and um, you can leave a comment as well. And if you have any challenges whatsoever in creating it, you can always you can always um, drop a comment and you know state your challenges, and I will be on hand to give you some replies and guide you along the way.